Hello everybody, it's Wendy and today we're going to be using some more of the Bargain Bead Box from August 2022 and we're going to make a cool bracelet. So first of all, our encouraging word for today is I am full of mercy and grace and I will overflow with love for you and that is Psalms 103.8 and I love that one. Okay, so Bargain Bead Box, um, they had these really cool coconut spacers in the box this month and they had these really cool English cut howlite beads and they had these really sparkly pear beads and I loved all three of these together I just thought they were really pretty now I did not like the coconut beads with the gunmetal um, so we're not going to be using the gunmetal I just didn't think that went well together at all um, so we're going to be using gold or silver um, and I have got a couple of rounds of just bracelet size silver memory wire so as you can see the way that I've cut this is I have one full wrap two full wraps and when it where it comes back around and is even with the one on the other side that's how I've cut it okay so it's just regular memory wire bracelet size memory wire I think it actually came from curated bead box, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I have a 12 millimeter ring, a, gosh, I don't know what millimeter lobster this is. It's a big one. And some um, rhinestone rondelles here. I have some one and a half millimeter leather in this really pretty kind of gold brownish, copper brownish. Um, and then I have some silver 26 gauge artistic wire. Okay. And I think that's all you're going to need to do this bracelet. So this is going to be a wrap bracelet. Um, I'm going to cut my coconut beads. Whoops, they went flying everywhere over there. All right. Go ahead and get them off of there. And the first thing we're going to do is start by beading our center section here. And I wanted to do this, I wanted the sparkle and bling, but I wanted the leather too. I just love the leather with the sparkle. Now we may throw in some of the Howlite rounds that were also in the box if we need to. Um, I'm not sure if I'll need them or not, but if I do, there they are. So one thing about memory wire is you want to make sure you use either your old cutters that you don't care about to tear up or memory wire cutters to cut it. So just keep that in mind because it is a very strong wire and it will tear up your good cutters. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to grab my round nose pliers and I am going to go inward with my loop. Okay. And I'm just going to make a loop on one end of this memory wire and you want to take it all the way around and close it up make sure that it closes just like that okay now I am going to take my chain nose here and just press it in gently there we go all right and now I'm just going to bead this section so I think I will start with a couple of these coconut spacer beads. I thought these were so cool. And then let's see, these are kind of, I've only got five left, so I'm gonna have to spread them out. I wonder if I have any more of these in my stash. Let me check, I might. Okay, well I thought I had some more of those in my stash because I remember <laughs> they had these in here before and I, I'm almost positive I ordered some more of them, but if I did, I would either use them or I drained up the whole thing, but I can't find them. But these are very similar. These are English cut, and they're really sparkly too. So I think I'm going to throw them in just because I want a lot of sparkle in the middle section of this bracelet. Okay, so then I'm going to take one of my rhinestone rondelles. Then I'm going to do one of the English cut beads, two of the coconut spacers, Do I want to do a rhinestone rondelle on either side of that? I think I do. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do a rhinestone rondelle on either side of that English cut bead because it's just going to make it look more complete. Okay, and then I think I will do the English cut howlite bead, another rondelle, oops, another two spacers, 
and then the pear bead just by itself. Yeah, and I think I'm going to repeat that pattern. So I'm going to do the two spacers, two coconut spacers, rhinestone rondelle, English cut sparkly bead, rhinestone rondelle, English cut halite bead, rhinestone rondelle, and two coconut spacers. And I'm just going to repeat that pattern until I fill up this whole um, little bit here of memory wire, if I have enough. I hope I have enough beads to do this. Okay, so then we got, we, we got our pear bead, two coconuts, rondelle, English cut sparkly, rondelle, English cut halite, rondelle, I'm going to run out of rondelles is what I'm going to run out of, but I've got more of those I think, um, two coconuts, whoops, two coconuts, and a pear bead. Two more coconuts. This is pretty. I love the sparkle and the, um, like the wood and the sparkle and the leather. I love the contrast of all that. Okay, so we've got sparkly rondelle, English cut, sparkly bead, sparkly rondelle, how light bead, sparkly rondelle, uh, two coconuts, a pear, and two coconuts. And then I am going to have to dig out some more of my rondelles because I really do want to go one more wrap around. So let me do that, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna do rondelle, sparkly English cut bead, rondelle, halite, rondelle, two coconuts, Our pair, whoops, our pair. And it looks like I have one more sparkly English cut bead. So I might get one more pass out of these. And then that's going to be it. Two coconuts. Is that right? Pair, yeah. Okay. Then our rondelle. English cut. Rondelle. Howlite. Rondelle and two coconut. And that's all that I've got beads for. So let's see what we got here. I think it's going to be fine. Okay, so I'm going to take my memory wire cutters and whoops, that's a one step looper. That's not memory wire cutter. All right, and I'm going to cut enough here so I have enough to make my loop. Mm, right about there should do it. I am going to take my round nose pliers. Grab that before I lose all my beads and roll a loop in. Okay, now, the thing with a wrap bracelet is it is very specific to your wrist, okay? So, if I put this on right now, it's a very pretty little memory wire bracelet. I want it to wrap with this leather three times on one side and three times on the other. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, about... Hmm, 
eight, eight to ten inches of my artistic wire here. I clearly need new cutters. I am going to take my leather and I'm putting it right through the loop on the end of the memory wire and doubling it up like this. And then I'm just going to take this artistic wire and I'm going to wrap to close this little connection so it won't come undone. Okay, so I'm just going to get it started here with a couple of loops around. Just like that. And then tightly, I'm going to take it and I'm just going to wrap right up. And I'm going to keep it fairly neat. It doesn't have to be a perfect little coil, but I do kind of want to keep it fairly neat on this. But I'm just wrapping right up and covering up where I started my wire. And I'm doing it tightly. You want it to be tight. And I'm going to do, I don't know, probably... 10 or 12 wraps around here. And again, I am doing it tight. And if you want a messy wrap, you can by all means make it very messy. Um, I kind of like the messy wrap with the boho look of the leather and everything, but this one I'm kind of just kind of keeping neater. Okay, now I'm going to go back down a little bit on top of where I was. I'm just making a really good tight wrap on this leather and just filling in any little gaps that I see that I missed. Okay, and after I feel like that I've wrapped several times, I'm going around actually way more than 10 or 12, more like 25, <laughs> but I want it to be good and secure. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leather, or the wire here, and go around a couple more times. And I'm going to take my plier I'm just going around a couple more times here just to get it. Okay. And then I'm going to cut my wire right about here. And then I'm just going to take my plier and I'm going to try to tuck my wire kind of in right here. So I'm just going to go around where I only have a little tiny bit left. And just kind of tuck it. So I'm just taking my plier, making sure that it comes all the way around. You don't want that little end poking out. And I'm just tucking it right there. Okay. And then I'm going to take the cutters and trim off my little excess bit of leather, just like that. Okay, so there we have a cute little messy wrap. Now, put this back on your wrist and decide how many times you want your leather to wrap around. I think I want mine to go about three times on each side. So I am going to take it and wrap it around and I like it tight, um, fairly tight, I don't know, not super tight. And I'm going to go to the halfway point on my wrist here, I'm marking it with my finger. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to cut right there. So now I can take my other piece of leather 
and I can kind of measure the same length. Okay, so down here I'm going to need enough to fold it under on the other end. So I'm going to just trim it off right about here, and that just leaves me a little tiny piece of leather left. Okay, I'm going to go to the other side here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make my little bend. And I'm going to take the wire. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing I did on the other side. I'll try to straighten this wire out just a little. There. I'm just going to start a wrap over here. And again, I'm just going to wrap tightly. I'm having trouble getting a good grip on this one for some reason. There we go. I'm just going to wrap tightly around many, many times. <laughs> I don't know how many times I went around that last one. I'm just going to go until it I'm running out of wire and I will hold it up to the other one here in a second and just I want to make sure they look the same you know they're about the same length and everything the wraps so I'm just kind of going around and around And around and around, and I'm sorry, it's hard to not get my hand in the thing while you're doing this. Okay, so let me compare them. I need to go a few more with this one. Okay, is that about right? That's about right. And then I'm going to start back down, just like I did on the other one. Just filling in any little gaps that I see. Just going around several times here, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other one and tuck it. Okay, and for some reason, all the dogs in the neighborhood have started barking. We'll be good if Sadie doesn't decide to join in, but she may. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take it around, and I'm just going to tuck it in nice and tight. Okay, just like that. All right, so there we have it. Let me cut this off. Now, if you try it on again, we should have about three wraps around on this side, come to the middle of the wrist, and about three wraps around on this side, pretty close. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, and I'll measure these so you can kind of know if you want exactly. I have a six and a half inch wrist. 
and the leather on this side once you're wrapped on the end there it's about 12 right about 23 and a half inches okay so 23 and a half inches on each side is what I have but now we are gonna put the clasp on so we're gonna do the same wrap um, on the clasp that we did on the other end okay so I'm just pulling a little up there grabbing my wire and I'm gonna do the same thing on the clasp and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the ring with my wraps and I won't sit and make you watch that but you can do yours I'll do mine and we'll meet back here okay so here is my finished bracelet got my wraps all done on the ends and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on here just wrap around several times same with the other end and then we will clasp it whoops and then you can twist it you know it may be a little you may have to twist a little bit to get it just right or to get it to go around enough but it's just meant to be clasped any way you can get it clasped which is kind of hard but you can do it if you learn how to do this type of thing where you lay your wrist on the table <laughs> I've learned this and then you kind of get your hook right here your lobster and it takes a lot of coordination that I don't really have so usually I go beg Chris to help me but I'm going to see if I can get it and I did so there it is cute little wrap bracelet got your leather wraps on either side your sparkle in the middle I really really like this I could see this being done with a lot of different types of beads so I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, if you did please like it and subscribe to my channel it's free to subscribe and it helps me out so much you have no idea so if you haven't subscribed please do and if you're interested in the bargain bead box this is a monthly beading subscription service um, it is delivered to your door for $19.49, I believe, a month, and that includes your shipping. Um, I do have a coupon code. It is Wendy2. I will link everything in the description box below the video. Um, when you subscribe to Bargain Bead Box, you get a 30% off coupon to use in their sister store, and you can use that over and over all month long. So it really is a great deal. The boxes are always really nice. They have beautiful beads in them and definitely worth uh, the $20 around about twenty dollars that um, you pay for it definitely worth it so check them out and i will see you guys in the next video bye